Alright guys, welcome back to another Patreon request, and this one comes from uh, Nolan, uh, uh, Nolan Nunejo, who, this is one of his many requests, who, and this one, and this basically is one he asked me to do of another hero-villain mashup, and basically what it is, is the Power Rangers taking on Lex Luthor. So what would it be like if Lex Luthor was a Power Rangers villain, so we're... So we've kind of had a DC Power Rangers crossover with Justice League Power Rangers a few years back, but we never really got Luthor. It was Brainiac, not Luthor, who was the villain. So let's talk about what would it be like if Lex Luthor was a Power Rangers villain. Now, it's good. So obviously we're using Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and um, for this. So um, obviously this isn't the first time we've had human villains in Power Ranger. Um, as Power Ranger villains. Like, there are normal humans out there, and some of them get augmented by magic and whatnot, but there are, there are, has been a trend, especially in some of the later uh, iterations of Power Rangers, that they basically get, like, normal people who serve or are the big villain until they get mutated. So, this isn't too far off from, uh, uh, so having Luthor as a Power Rangers villain is not too far off. So, what would it be? So obviously, the one thing that would bother Luthor is the magic. Obviously, uh, ha the Rangers having magic would be would be a, an obstacle for him. But you know what? All, what power the Power Rangers also have power over uh, technology, and that's something that Luthor excels at. So I could definitely see like Luthor like probably like analyzing the zords like kind of like analyzing like the zords and i think he would kind of hand wavy be like oh magic whatever it's just science i don't understand and nothing is too uh, you know nothing can be uh, 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 nothing can be unknown to lex luthor forever so luthor would definitely like ex like send out monsters or send uh, or, uh, monsters he created or robots he created and unleash them on the power ranger he would definitely have like several um moments where basically he would unleash these you know ungodly forces on the power rangers just to analyze Z or the zords and i could definitely see like Le Le lex luthor more or less creating his own zords that he would have control over it wouldn't be like he'd have his own team it wouldn't be like he would get his own like um he wouldn't forge like his own team of rangers like the Le uh, the pa uh, the Ra the luthor rangers or something it'd all be him because it has to be all him lex luthor is all about himself so lex would definitely s create like lex corp versions of the dinosaurs and then like make them green and purple because that's his color com uh, that's his color scheme for his armor and then like he'd have like some kind of mental link to control all the zords and then put them all together the other thing that you have to look at with Lex Luthor is that why do you think his most power, the most powerful being, has been his arch nemesis for so long? When everyone says Superman could literally just fly into it, like just heat vision him, and it'd be over. Well, that's the same thing with the Power Rangers. It's because they don't kill. They don't. If you're a human being, they're not gonna kill you. If you're a monster, you're fucking dead. But that's not the case here. Um, Luth Lex Luthor is a human fucking being, so they're not gonna cross that line. Also, you have to understand that it's not just, you know, science and um, that brilliant mind that Luthor has. He's a savvy businessman. This is a guy who's literally going to, who has media outlets under his control. So he could literally have a smear campaign against the Power Rangers and turn public opinion against them like that. I can't snap my fingers, but you understand the, uh, the meaning behind it. So that's the other thing you have to look at. And it's not like with Superman where Superman is like, oh, I'm above it. You know, I can just rise above him. My actions will prove to the people of Earth that I'm better. The Power Rangers are still like teenagers. And some of them are kind of hot-headed. So I could see them like being baited by Luthor into doing something like this. I could see them like being baited into a situation where Luthor gets what he wants. Like maybe like... He engineers a situation where, like, I don't know, Jason is uh, pestered. Jason or Tommy, as the as in their ranger forms, are like pestered, and then they just throw a like throw a punch or something, or act threatening towards somebody. That's a th that's the um that's something you have to look at with something like this. Is that the Power Rangers 
are still just kids. And while Billy is a smart kid, and a lot of them are pretty smart, and will pro and also have Zordon like guiding them, you know, there's at at heart they're still children. Like they're still young kids who can be influenced by their own emotions. And Luthor knows that. That's what makes this so intimidating, is that Lex Luthor knows that it probably would figure out, oh, they're young. They're young superheroes. I can work with this. Yeah. So, Luthor wouldn't even have to touch the Rangers to be a physical threat to any of them. That's another thing you have to take into account, is that Luthor would literally, um, br you know, bring them to their knees without even needing to touch a single one of them. So that's something you have to take you have to factor in as well in a situation like this. But do I but Luthor as we all know is an arrogant son of a bitch and I do think he would kind of like at the same time only be like oh they're kids I can work with this I can manip I can turn them against each other or have the whole world turn against them. He's not going to take any of them seriously. That's the other thing you have to look at if they were vil is that Luthor's not going to take them seriously. If you think Zed and Rita ain't going to take them seriously at first and then realize oh shit that's why do you think the Power Rangers have lasted so long? Because everyone takes cuz no like Zed, Rita, Goldar, none of them take them seriously. So, yeah, I could definitely see that being Luthor's fault as well. But yeah, he is a he would be a dangerous villain for the Power Rangers. So there you go, guys. That's pretty much uh, my thoughts on this. I'd like to thank Nolan for this Patreon request. And as always, if you would like to have a Patreon request done by me, uh, just head on over to the link below. Just Yeah, just click the link below. Head on over to my Patreon, where if you hit the fourth tier, you can send me requests for videos. And uh, check out the exclusive content over on Patreon as well. Other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.